Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. Today's video is on validation of casting painting process. Painting is an important activity as it has an aesthetic look and our first impression in the eyes of customer is because of that aesthetic look. If our painting is good, customer will be happy. If our painting is not good, customer will be unhappy. So that is why the painting process is very, very important. Let us talk about the validation process. Validation basically required man, machine, material, and method. We first take a man. Man, that is the operator who is doing the painting. His training is very important. He knows the SOP or the work instruction is essential. Then we go to material. Material is the paint which we are using. Normally, it is customer specific requirement, and customer suggests us the paint. Only we have to use the same brand or same material for our painting process. Third one is the machine. Machine is basically paint booth and the spray gun in the painting process. The booth has to be uh, properly having enough light that is uh, person can easily see the casting which is getting painted to have uh, good light and secondly suction suction is very important because uh, if suction is not good or suction is not there the particles which are uh, spraying in the air can uh, have a bad effect on the operator's health so spray gun when you are using the safety is very important and that is why the suction in the boot is very important regarding air gun which you are using for this spraying the air pressure is very important. It should be two to four bar as per your requirement of the pressure required for the painting. So air pressure is essential thing and you have to maintain or monitor it on daily basis whenever you are painting it. Then we go to third thing that is the method. Method is nothing but the way of doing the operation. There are three different type of painting methods one is spray painting second is deep painting and third one is brush painting when we talk about this uh, brush painting it is very rarely used so we are not talking about it in this video deep painting is used uh, uh, in few foundries uh, basically uh, in this case the casting is deep into the barrel of paint and then put on the rack for the drying uh, spray uh, it is used because they don't have a facility of spray painting booth or air compressor so dipping is done some time and it is a good process but you have to take care of properly removing the paint after the painting you have to take care of proper staining of the paint regularly uh, the thickness of uh, paint can be cannot be that uniform as uh, spray painting in the deep painting so uh, people are more preferring a more comfortable on spray painting customer also emphasis on spray painting for their castings uh, we talk about the spray painting uh, as i told you already uh, spray gun we are using you have to maintain the air pressure uh, most important thing is before we start the painting you must have to clean the stand or the paint booth uh, uh, we are keeping the casting first because uh, if old paint is there on the uh, stand or that uh, bar then definitely it will hamper your uh, painting process it uh, the old paint will get uh, onto your casting and the casting painting will not be that uniform it will have some other shade of the paint as well so cleaning of the booth uh, or paint booth is important secondly uh, you have to maintain the water of the uh, paint booth is also important uh, light as i told you is to be kept optimum it is it is to be properly uh, maintained uh, next thing uh, is the cleaning of spray gun is very important again because uh, you are already done some painting and then you are going to change the paint then you have to remove uh, the old paint from the gun you have to clean that gun with the thinner and then use new paint so it is very important to have 
cleaning of gun and the pen boot stand. Uh, when we're talking about method, it is important to uh, take the paint in a uh, bucket or in a gun, properly steer it before you take it uh, in, uh, from the tin. You have to add some thinner to it and you have to maintain the viscosity that is a before cup viscosity you have to maintain to maintain that viscosity you have to either add paint or add thinner and you have to keep it as per your specification you have to keep uh, steering the paint whenever you are taking it again from the tin you have to steer it and then only you can uh, able to uh, uniformly get the paint because there may be layers of paint, uh, pigment, and the thinner in the tin. So steering of the paint regularly is very important. Uh, regarding safety, when you are painting any casting, it is very important to wear the mask because there are chances that whatever pigment or whatever the uh, spraying is there in the air that may go uh, while you breathe. So using mask is important. Using of hand gloves and goggles also can be uh, can be used if required. So this is also important thing. Then whatever paint tins are there, empty paint tins, uh, there will, there will be a sludge inside that paint tin. The sludge which are not uh, cannot be used for the painting. The sludge has to be disposed as per government guidelines, the legal guidelines, uh, because it's an it's an environmental aspect. So you have to follow that as well. Uh, whenever we paint, it is very, very, very important to have a costing of paint, how much numbers you are making in one liter or five liter, you have to measure, you have to give it to your management so that they will able to get exact cost of your painting. Uh, one more important thing is when you paint and then keep the casting, you have to keep it in a very clean area. There should not be any dust. You cannot cannot keep the casting on the floor itself. You have to some. You have to put some sort of either uh, rack or either a pallet something there, so that casting uh, will not get dirty because of the dust around it. Because we are doing so much efforts in painting and we just waste it by keeping it in a uh, dirty area or an unclean area. So this is very important. One more thing you have to avoid touching by hands or any other thing uh, till it get dried because uh, if it is uh, wet and you touch it then it will have a mark touch mark will be there and customer will not accept it so most of the time we try to use uh, uh, fast drying or quick drying paint to av avoid this waiting time so that paint will get uh, dried immediately and you can able to dispatch the casting faster so that uh, waiting time will be reduced. Uh, one more thing that is we are talking here uh, about the validation of operator, validation of painting process, but there will be a, one more thing that is the validation of your paint. Whenever you are talking about validation of paint, you have to have uh, very important, that is the uh, peel-off test, salt spray test, and scratch test because there you are testing your paint. Here we are use, uh, testing or validating our process. That is the qualifying the operator. So you, after the painting, you just have to check your uh, painting thickness. That is DFT uh, value, which will show you or which will uh, give you the uniformity of the paint painted coat coating. So this is very important uh, aspect of your inspection method after the painting. So this is all about the painting. Uh, hope you understand it properly and you will follow the process and do painting as per this process and it will help you to avoid any customer complaint for the painting in future. I hope you will uh, you have enjoyed it. I, before I conclude, I request you to please subscribe our Dynamic Foundry Group channel. And if you like this video, please press like button. Thank you, thank you very much.